Hey there, Sheepdoggers, and welcome to another Sheepdogs Unfair Review. This time, it's of Caribbean. Okay, I thought the music would stop there for a second. Um, yeah, so this is a pirate game, and if you know me at all, you know I always get excited by pirate games. Um, I saw this and it looked interested. Uh, it looked interested? It looked interesting, uh, which is why I went out and, uh, and grabbed it. And it's also early access, and I've kind of taken it upon myself to grab early access games I find interesting. Because I know that you guys who watch my unfair reviews, for the most part, unless you're new, um, have the same taste in games as me, and are probably inclined to uh, act similar to me. Which means that it's very possible you've already looked at this game and gone to yourselves, ha, huh, maybe. Um, so I'm here to basically do a quick review of how it is and what it's like, and... You know, and maybe save you a little bit of money, and maybe not, you know? So, first off, right out the gate, this is based on the Mountain Blade uh, engine, game, everything. It basically is very, 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 very similar to Mountain Blade. Um, so yeah, that that's the first thing that should be said. So, you know, it's not going to be as... As kind of, uh, it might not be what you expect if you don't know that. Uh, so you see, it's in alpha state, uh, basic features, 70% done. Um, it seems pretty decent. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where it goes. I'm not 100% sold on it, or, or however. So we'll just go with Shep. I will be Shep. Good old Shep. Um, so you see, you can, if you know Mountain Blade, you can see you've got your attributes, your skills, your proficiencies, and, and traits, which come along later, I guess. Because you can't add any. Um, and then you can kind of set up how you are. So we're going to go two in agility, one in intelligence, one in charisma. Strength seems a little less important, seeing as it's a little less uh, melee-y. But it's still pretty melee-y. Oh god, I'm going to have to stop saying that. Um, so yeah, can consider that when you're going. But uh, I'm going to go with Fleet Master, Naval Combat, uh, Seafaring, uh, Buccaneering helps company sustain itself with hunting and gathering. Yeah. Um, we'll go with Precise Shot. Um, each point in skill, 3% critical chance, basically, when you're shooting. And this is for shooting... Uh, damage and accuracy penalties from shooting from horseback. I probably won't be on horseback for a while, I don't think. Uh, we will go with navigation. Yes. And trade. Because we might do some trading. Who knows? Um, and we will go with uh, firearms. And one-handed weapons. Oh, I could have done one more in there. Uh, and there we go. That is Shep. Uh, continue, uh, and then you've got the the randomized things. Um, we'll go with oof. the faces always look so weird. Uh, we'll go with oh no, we'll go with that and my beard. There's my beard. This is the longest beard you can get, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, there you go. We'll go. We'll go with that. Uh, enter the Caribbean, and there we go. Our our, our ship has. Uh, has crashed on here. Uh, so you can see the map. Um, I wonder if we can... can we... Okay, no, you can't go straight off. So you'll see the ship. So like Mountain Blade, you've got your 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 stop, as it were, where you where you where you start with, and uh, it's 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 quite big. Now, for those of you who've been with me for a while, you might see this area and say, "Ooh, this kind of looks like uh, like." Um, Pirates, Sid Meier's Pirates, and yeah, it does. It really does. So you know, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not necessarily thinking it's a bad thing. I think there's a lot they could do with this game. Uh, I think possibly the only drawback is going to be they might be a little bit uh, hindered, uh, held back by the fact that it's based on the Mountain Blade game engine, etc. So you know that that that's one thing that you will have to keep in mind, and that's why I'm a little bit, you know, I. I can't help feeling this is this is going to feel more like a mod than it is going to feel like a uh, like an actual you know like like it like its own game. It's going to feel too too moddy. 
There we go. Okay. So arms for the poor. Sure, old man. Have a piastre on me. Uh, that's the money. And he's, he's, he's saying basically there's sunken treasure and I'm all ears. Agreed. See you there. And then we go to La Navidad. Uh, so this is kind of, I think this is kind of the tutorial quest. Uh, last time I didn't take it because they asked me to be friends with France and I don't like being friends with France. I like killing France. No offense to French people. It's just, you know, I'm English. Give me a break. Uh, and then the god seizes us and uh, uh, it's racism. Pure, pure racism, basically. They're going to hang me as well. I mean, that's a little extreme for basically nothing. And then, yeah, so it's not... It, it You know, there's, there's a lot of Mountain Blade in this. And this may be a problem for a lot of you. You know, if you're, if you're expecting uh, a full-on uh, unique pirate game, you're going to feel very... You know, if you played Mountain Blade, you're going to feel very Mountain Blade. And this could be a problem for people. Which is why, like, my opinion of, the, my, my opinion of this is very much coloured by my, by, by knowledge that, you know, I've played a lot of Mountain Blade. This feels very Mountain Blade. I love Mountain Blade. Doesn't mean people are going to enjoy this. You know, um, uh, we got Trial, Lawyer... Uh, I'm doomed. Uh, some friends in the city. Uh, wait, wait, you guys can, if you do get this, you can do it yourselves. Oh, look, he's managed to escape somehow. Um, okay. I think. Okay, we we have got the automatic. Uh, the uh, automatic blocking. Off. There we go. Next one, please. Um, so yeah, the the combat, of course, is very um... <coughs> shit. No, it's not shit. It's good. There we go. Um, the 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 melee. Where are you going? The the melee combat is 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 very mountain blade and the the shooting as well, and it, it works. It works as well as it does, does in oh, bloody hell. I'm mumbling my everything. Uh, it works as well as it does in Mount in in Mountain Blade as as before. I know. For a yeah, I know for a fact that there are. Oh God! Don't come after me! Help! 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 help. Help, help, help. Help, help. Okay, there's one more. Oh. So you can see, there is, there is quite... Oh, God, it's really bloody loud, isn't it? Um, there is a lot of... Uh, not a lot. There's a fair amount of skill. Um, I've done a little bit of ship combat, and it seems interesting. It seems kind of... Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to go. Again, you know, if it's going to be a bit more... In depth and stuff, but it, it, it's quite fun, and the boarding as well is quite fun. It is still very Mountain Blade, so it is restricted in that sense. Uh, that was close. I was lucky to have you with me. I would never have made it alone. Uh, I might be. What's the catch? And he's saying, uh, "I'm in," and we've got the a letter of Mark. Uh, in the end, you find your way out of town. Shortly after, the secluded camp reunite with your soldiers. So now we have a quest for Old Man's Cash, uh, Francois Voucher from French Crown. Pick up a schooner recently ordered in the shipyards of Tortuga. And we've also got uh, the authorizing attack on Spain. So we can attack Spain uh, under the mark of. Uh, under the letter of mark from that. Uh, I should have. No, I'm throwing. So we need to go to Tortuga. Uh, um, you see, you see, we have a we have a ship now, and this is how the ships move. And they're 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 fairly uh, they're very accurate. And what what are these got? It, it's got a little problem with uh, not being able to large sooner. It's supposed to be schooner. C eight uh, S C H. Um, just keep that in mind, guys. Um. Uh, but yeah, the, the it doesn't it doesn't have everything I'm looking for in a in a pirate game yet. I mean, I haven't played enough. Literally, I played a, I played a good uh, few hours just to get the the bare bones of it, and I started seeing the streets are much safer now that the armory is constructed. Okay, 
Um, I think we go to the harbour. I have a voucher to pick up the ship you were supposed to construct. Here, look at it. Um, the schooner is ready, mighty fine vessel. Uh, wait list down by the outfitting. Okay, so... Upgrade or buy ships. And then you see... Um, there's a fair amount to look, so this might be slightly bigger than usual. Uh, so you can see the Royal Sovereign. No, oh, oh, that's the ship. That's not, Is that the upgrade or shop? Upgrade. Oh, okay, so that's the upgrade. This, this isn't what we have, is it? We have a freaking 12 pounders. Uh, we, we want crew, hire, uh, available. Okay, we've got a bloody hell we've got quite a nice ship there then. 120. Okay, so you can kind of that this is this is kind of helping you out, I guess. Two cannon decks. Uh, how many how many uh, cannon do we have? It doesn't say how many cannons we have. Couple of swivel guns. Damn. Okay, that's pretty pretty damn nice. Uh, so we'll train our crew because but why not? Um, eight pound sakers and twelve pounders. Great. Okay. Well, uh, all right. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll go party, and you can see what the Royal Sovereign Flute of War. Uh, it has twelve pounder, five out of five, eight pounder, five out of five, uh, couple, two out of two on the bow and stern. I guess those are the swivel guns. Uh, cargo. So it's 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 very in depth. It's it's done a it's done a good. I don't know why we have a flute of war, but we do have a large flute as well. Um, maybe I bought the damn thing. Anyway, I'm I'm the captain of this one, and we can you can make ship and add sailors and and everything, and you can look at your your land parties. You've got Spanish Rodoleros infantry, and you can see all the all the info of the party and everything. Um, and then we can go attack the mutineers. Your new ship, take good and enemy of France should tremble. Remember that old pirate hanged the other day? Yes. Uh, treasure buried for Captain Flint. Figured he, do you want to know more? Of course I do. Uh, clues he left me. I need to, you to do something first. Uh, an English convoy passing by Barracoa. Two vessels armed. Nothing a little bird couldn't handle. Convoy to be destroyed for reason. Okay. All right. Discreetly. I entrusted you to. Your loss loses all power. Gets the news. Even one belonging to Ishua. Um, okay, so we, we've also got a, got a, one of those. But yeah, if we go after the fleet, how quick are they moving? Speed 5.2, speed 5.6. We'll, we'll end up catching them. Um, so yeah, you know, this is this is this is this is how the game is. I, I assume there's also you know trading. I haven't engaged in that as much uh, at all. Sorry, um, but I imagine you know similar. It seems very much inspired by. Ooh, smugglers. Nice. Uh, yeah, so there are kind of, uh, you know, random random ships. Mutineers and smugglers and, and, and traders and, and the like. And you've got the different... Uh... And here you can see the uh, WSD to steer your ship. Uh, fire, you hit the space. Um, yeah, it seems very much inspired by Sid Meier's Pirates. Um, and you can right click and move and, and zoom out and zoom in. Um, it's all it's all very nice. Um, and you can have your different types of shot. You can move, you've got the you've got the wind, so if we move slightly to the left like this, we'll catch the wind slightly better. And we should speed up a little bit. That's not how quickly we're going. Yeah, that that's how quickly we're going we're going. Um, and you can also click to fire, targets out of range. Um, so you, you can see all these things, and you know, again, what, as as I've said before, um, it it looks like a promising game. Uh, we're still out of range. Who? And you've got you've got these these ships here as well. Obviously, are are AI controlled, so you just control your one ship, and then the rest is controlled. I could see there being problems there. Um, sooner or later, we're going to have to get into range. I'm just putting that out there. Um, let's see if we spin it around. Can we take a few shots? And there you go. There you see the, the cannons firing over. 
and then they'll uh, there you go they light up when they're ready to fire again they should light up when they're ready to fire again there we go uh, this is although this is as far as you can zoom in interestingly enough uh, they're going really high firing base damage and you get all this info I think that might be kind of more info wanting to be gleaned um, at the moment, but yeah, it, it's it's there. Um, and as I said, the the only problem I can see with it is that it is, of course, a mountain blade game, and therefore it's uh, it's uh, kind of hindered by that fact. You know, it's it's uh, and it does seem, of course, to be very influenced, very heavily influenced. By the, I don't know why I can't fire my swivel guns. I guess we can. Okay. Uh, and yeah, uh, as I said, it seems to be very heavily influenced by the uh, by the Sid Meier Pirate game, which is a good thing because you know that's a great game, really fun. That's as close as we can get in, by the way. Uh, I'll see if we can. We seem to be having some problems with the with the wind, unfortunately. Um, let's spin it about to see if we can catch the wind properly. Uh, um, and yeah, I can, I can, there, there's a, there's a certain part of me who, who feels a bit, a, a bit just kind of like, this, this is a mod, pretty much, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it, it feels like a mod, and, you know, not a bad one, like, you know, what they've done with the, uh, what, what they've done with, um, what they, what they've done with the, with Mountain Blade, you know, they've really done a great job of, of changing it round and, and sorting it out, and, no, that's the wrong one, there we go. They've re really done a great job of, of changing it around and, and etc. But it's still, at the end of the day, I I can't I can't get off I can't get off the 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 feeling that you know the feeling that this feels like a mod. At the you know at the end of the day, it feels like a mod, and it's not a bad thing. But I think it could it could uh, ru not ruin, but it could it could hinder uh, the enjoyment for some people. Um, I'm trying desperately to get uh, like the the one the one last thing I really want to try and get is uh, it, it is is a is a does that work? No, I think we need to be a bit closer. Well, let's uh, oops. see if we can slow this damn thing down, shall we? They're also just firing repeatedly into our uh, in into our stern. Is it stern or prow? I, I don't know. They're, st they're firing repeatedly at us. Um, so yeah, there you go. And now we're now we're attacking their sails, and uh, you should be able to see the the, the statistics for those as well. Um, come on, there we go. And there you see their their sail is dropped. Like the white is the sail, the red is the hull. And the green is the crew. Um, yeah, no, no, no. Very, very similar to pirates. So if if all you were thinking to yourself was, you know, a slightly, slightly better looking, uh, you know, etc. You know, this really could be the game for you, because it's promising in 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 a lot of ways. You know, also it may be it may be a little. Uh, it, it, it may, it, if you play Mountain Blade, it may be a little off for you yourself. You know, it's uh, it's obviously not not perfect in any in any in any way. But um, yeah, it, it, this this could very much be the game for you. Um, so yeah, you know, um, it's there's there's I th I think I'd like. Uh, I think what I'm, what this is, what this is, what this is going to be, and what I want this to be, and etc. Is I'd like this to be a, a kind of a, a review, just giving you the bare bones, you know, kind of almost not an unfair review, just uh, just an early, an early access, touching base basically. And I'll come back to this after they've 
continue to update it and do another one. So let's let's call this like early, early, early unfair review. You know? Um, so that you can kind of make your own mind up when you want to, about this game. Uh, is there any way to... I don't, oh, there is. A, I like this. Okay, so you hold the use key, which is F, and you attempt boarding like this. Come on, boarding. Uh, yeah, and you can come on, boarding, charge the enemy. So, so we're going to charge in. And you can see the difference in, in ships. So there, there, it, it is quite cool, but, you know, again, it's a, it's a little less involved than I would like in, in certain ways. And it, it, it again, it, it faces some of the old age-old problems of how to blade. The bloody hell, the shouting's really loud. I wasn't expecting it to be quite that loud. Um, oh, I got him. Nice. Is everyone dead? There's someone down there? Bloody hell. Alright, one sec. Where is he? There he is. Right. Oh, he's dead. And there you go. Uh, there's there's boarding a uh, boarding action, um, and lodge sc lodge schooner uh, schooner, but lodge lodge, and you can make it your flagship. Add it, add vest, add the capture captured vessel, f scuttle yours, vessel to your fleet, and you can take them and you can do whatever you want with them basically. Uh, and then yeah, we've just got the the last the last one down there, um, the little little one which we don't really need. So we'll uh, we'll see what we can do about sinking the damn thing. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, so yeah, you know, again, I, uh, I'm I'm not I'm I don't want to do a full on review on this. Not not by any not by any length or mean or, or anything. Um, I think at the end of the day, you know, this this is this is a game that I'm reviewing because I want to make sure people getting the game. You know, I, I want to make sure that you guys get the game not for the right reasons. Just you're you're fully informed about what it is. You know, because I think for myself, if someone was to holy shit, they're missing like sh just terribly. Um, I think for myself, you know, I I I if someone said to me, how would you like a a mountain blade game where you can, you know, where you can sail around in ships and it's like Sid Meier's Pirates, I'd be like, yeah, I'd love that. That sounds awesome. Uh, you know, but other people, you know, if, if especially if they don't know or they don't like Mountain Blades, but they like pirate games, it could be a kind of sticking point where you're just like, well, fucking hell, you know. It was, uh, you know, you could feel a bit cheated, you could feel a bit uh, let down and so forth. Where the fuck are those going? Are they just firing right instead of let's let's wait and see? So let's keep spinning around. Do we click on it to fire a bit more accurately? Come on, fire, fire, fire on that, fire on that. I'm just gonna hit my own ship probably. Um, let's just speed it up. I'm sure it'll. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, it's at, at the at the end of the day, they're charging money for it. Um, it's definitely kind of it, it's it's definitely sailing in dangerous waters. Pun, um, in the sense that it's a uh, very it feels very similar to to a mod. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean it is a mod or that it's a bad game. <coughs> Sorry. Desperately needed to sneeze there. Uh, yeah, it does. It doesn't mean that it's a bad game. You know, it's a bad mod. It doesn't mean that it's not worth the money. It's just that I think uh, we will from the start. Sorry, I need to sneeze again. 
and you can choose where to command your your guys from. Maybe you might be able to fire. Can I can I fire this? I think it's possible you might be able to, to fire, and you can stay out of. Uh... And you know, again, with this bit, you've got all your cannons, and I just think there'd be a certain. Uh... There would de definitely be a certain. Oh damn, that was a nice shot. There'd be certain interest for me to. Uh... That was our ship, mate. Our ship. Um, but if there's multiplayer, where you sail around in ships, all, all, all the lot of you, and you know you have people, that would be amazing. You know, so that's something to really like. I, I would, I would say, if they managed to pull that off, four sailors from a ship, com ships complement perished. You win the battle, and there you go. Uh, let's 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 hold it there, and we won't go any further. Um, this is just touching base. So, yeah, the 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 basic the basic root of the uh, of this unfair review is to say to you, you know, this feels very Mountain Blade. This is based on on the Mountain Blade engine, uh, on the Mountain Blade game. So keep that in mind when you're considering this game. If they are planning on having multiplayer, where you know you can you can have say. 10 people per ship all like running the ship and you know and etc you know one guy sailing everyone else firing cannon and etc that could be really 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 fun and uh, could could be a very worthwhile game in and of itself you know you never know how these things are going to go uh, for myself at the moment the things I have a problem with is the feeling uh, in in the kind of back of my brain while I'm playing that this is a mod and not a and not a you know standalone game or or even like a you know maybe an expansion and not a standalone game you know I think it needs to distance itself from Mountain Blade in certain aspects you know to really uh, sing, single itself out as a as a game in an, in a, in and of itself uh, there's a lot of uh, similarities to Pirates Sid Meier Pirates here that I can't uh, shake off. And, you know, that's a good thing in the sense that Sid Meier's Pirates is a great game. I just hope they take it a step further than Sid Meier's Pirates, because that was a long time ago. So hopefully they'll keep going. At the end of the day, unless you really love the idea and you're really enamoured with it, I'd say hold off, guys. You know, hold off until at least it's been released. Um... You know, when it's been released, I'll do another review, a kind of a more proper review, saying like what I like and what I don't like and whether I think it's worth it, etc. At the moment, this is just this is mainly just a just a video to say hold up and don't buy it. You know, don't buy it unless you want to support the 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 developers because you want to see the full game. You know, right now it's early access and it doesn't have everything in, and uh, and yeah, you know, it's it's uh, it's it's. I, w I wouldn't say it's bad, but I think I think it's going to be difficult slash interesting for me to play it in its current state. And considering they said it's seventy percent complete, uh, I don't I don't know. Like you know, um, at the end of the day, I think I could have some fun with the single player. I'm not sure it would last uh, a long test of time. You know, a long long play session. I think it would start to get it would it would start to niggle in my brain. So. There you go, guys. That is my uh, early unfair review, um, and I will do a proper uh, unfair review on it. You know, a proper in-depth uh, unfair review on it uh, when I get a chance. Uh, you've seen enough of the game for you to be able to make your own decision, of course, anyways. But uh, I will just reiterate, you know, unless you love Mountain Blade and you love the idea of, pi of pirate Mountain Blade, you know, you might have trouble playing this game. And you might start feeling cheated or whatever. And, and you don't want that. So at the end of the day, yeah. You know, uh, exercise a little bit of caution with this game. Not in a bad way. Just just in a, you know, just don't get your hopes up for a different game than what it is. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope I helped you. You know, I hope I helped uh, inform you about this game. And I'll see you guys in the next video.